Okay, so in the last video we finished up our X ball nut mount and today we're going to work on our Y axis. So the first thing we need to do is go to File, New Design. Uh, let's save this as Y axis ball nut mount. Alright, and then we're going to pull up our data panel and we're going to select our 2005 double ball nut that we drew in the first drawing and we're going to insert in the current design and then we'll just click OK and it'll place it in the right position. Uh, first thing I want to do is I want to break the link. That way I can do, I'll be able to modify these body, turn it off and on. Uh, so we don't need the body, we just need the sketch. All right. Select the front here and let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is create a sketch. And let's angle it so we can see we want this back panel here. Uh, as soon as it highlights, you can click it. All right. Uh, we're going to be drawing basically a rectangle. So let's go to sketch rectangle. We'll do a center rectangle. We'll select the center here. And we need to be 60 millimeters wide. Hit tab and we need to be, there we go, 56.8, there we go, by 60. All right, let's hit C for circle. We need our 36 millimeter circle. We need a six millimeter here, six millimeter there. And these bottom two also are six millimeter. All right. We're only going to be using these four mounting holes. Then we want to go to sketch rectangle, two point. I'm going to select this top left corner here. And we want to do 11 millimeters by 14. And over here, we need 11 by 14. Or excuse me, 11 this way and 14 this way. There we go. All right, and that's pretty much it. We'll hit stop sketch. We can turn this sketch off. All right, the width of our block here is 32 millimeters. So we want to modify, press pull. I want to select this and pull it out 32 millimeters. And then we want to go around to the back here. Uh, next we want to thread these. So hold down control and select all these holes. And we'll do an M6. Alright. Takes care of that. Uh, we can check this out, see how it is. Okay, you can see that this encroaches our model here. So what we want to do is left click and drag a box around this and then right click on it and select move and we want to move this model 10 millimeters now we can check it there we go all right looks good
we can turn this off. All right. Let's see. Let me get back to the top here. Okay. All right. So the top surface here. In order to mount this to the bottom of the saddle, we need to have a mounting hole here. Uh, so a post, so to speak. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to create sketch. We're going to select this surface right here. We're going to select a two point rectangle. And we want to go 24.2 and in the center and then right here we want to hit C we want to draw a circle this is 14.98 all right and we need to just put a point in the center there so let me select point there we go and we can stop sketch all right so we can go modify press pull select this and this and we need to raise this eight millimeters and it needs to join there we go and create hole we want a single hole we want to select that surface there and turn my sketch back on I want to select that point not let me select it for some reason so let's move that right oh there okay it's kind of snapped there all right uh, 15 millimeters deep six millimeter hole there we go all right we can turn our sketch off uh, now we need to create some threads and m6 there we go all right uh, let me go back. That hole's not quite deep enough. Edit the feature uh, depth. Not all. Let's see. Uh, 20 millimeter. There we go. Okay, it goes all the way through now. There we go. All right, that's pretty much it. Uh, let's turn the body back on, see what we've got. All right. Now, the critical dimension here on the y-axis is, of course, the center line and this top surface here. So the center and then there. Yeah, I figured that would happen. All right, so the center. Did I get a straight? Okay, there we go. 28.47 millimeters. That's the critical dimension, and you'll have to measure that and see, but you can adjust how high this is. It's not an issue. Uh, one last thing. Um, let's see. We need to modify, press, pull. Turn our sketch on. There we go. I want to select this area and this area. And move it through to there. Cut those corners there. All right, we were going to have to notch the corners of our ball nut right there.
and that is for clearance but that's pretty much it that is our y-axis ball nut mount if you have any questions or suggestions please feel free to leave comments thanks for watching the video please subscribe to the YouTube channel and most importantly be safe